Good evening, everyone. Well, in basketball, the North Central Jets have both size and experience, which is why they're the top team in the Little Five poll. This afternoon, the Jets traveled to Superior Central to face the Cougars. Let's go to Eben for the highlights. Midway through the second, the Jets led 30-24 over the Cougars. And later, Josh Granquist somehow gets the ball to Travis Vincent. He puts it in the basket. Jets up by 11. Vincent finished with 19 points. To the third, Trevor Eckberg knocks down the triple North Central. On an 8-0 run, they're up 44-20. 28. Jets shooting well beyond the arc as Rob Granquist gets into the action here with another three. He finished with 22 points on the night. Now watch this play by number 12, Jake Ajo. Vincent's indecisiveness leads to a turnover as Ajo goes down the court for the basket. Cougars still trail though, 53-34. And good intensity here by the Cougars as Greg Seppinen gets the put back to go. The Jets would not let up as they win by 32 points on the road, 87-55 over Superior Central. In more boys basketball, Escanaba wins by 11 points at home, 60-49 over the Sioux. The Eskimos' Brandon Robinette recorded 22 points. In girls basketball, let's go to the Copper Country Conference where Dollar Bay visited Chassel. First quarter for the Bays, Jamie Surditch gets it to Julia Davitella. And she moves into position for a three-point shot, knocks it down. She scored the Bay's first seven points, led all scorers with 16. For Chassel, Haley Hannah Toomey to Kristen Davitella. She knocks down the triple as well to bring the Panthers within one. It's seven to six. Near the end of the quarter, Carly Davitella just misses, but Alyssa Hakala with the put back here as Dollar Bay led 13-8 after eight minutes. Second quarter we go, Julia Davitella to Alicia Hool, who turns and scores to give the Bay's a 17-11 advantage. And off a scramble here near midcourt, Chassel's Carly Michaels finds Macy Halumbo and she dashes to the hoop and lays it in. Dollar Bay had a three point cushion at the half and pulled away to earn a 51 38 road victory. In college basketball on the other side of the Portage Lift Bridge, Finlandia entertained Mount Mary. First half, Hancock's Haley Gervais returns the ball to Briera Ruska. And the Superior Central grad drains a three-point shot. She scored a dozen and added five assists. Next, it's Gervais to Nagani's Michaela Hakala, who gets the two points. She has seven points and eight boards. Waters meets Marissa Burke had another outstanding day. She had 32 points, 11 rebounds, and five blocks. The Lions led by 25 at the half and coasted to a 90-43 victory. Nagani's Pejoho had 18 points and 7 assists for Finlandia. In the Fox Valley Tech Classic, the go women win by 32 points over the Slycones. In some Gleick basketball, all our local UP teams are on the road. The NMU women went on a late run as they skate by Lake Erie, 55-53. Abby DeBruin recorded a double-double, 10 points, 11 boards, while Sarah Miller scored a game-high, 13 points. Ethan Blackwell scored a career-high 22 points as the men drop a close decision, 89-82. Danielle Blake went off for 32 points, leading the Huskies to a five-point win over Ashland. It was a close game for the men, but they fall by a point, 71-70. Austin Armga led two other shooters in double digits with 25 points. And finally, the Lake State women fall by 10, 54-44 to Tiffin, while the men win by 11. Derek Billing again with a game-high 24 points. In some high school hockey, Escanaba hosts Calumet tonight at the Wells Sports Complex. The Eskimos strike early as Dylan Gothier scores his second goal of the year. It's 1-0 Escanaba. Later, they lead 2-1 to start the second period as Jeff Lyle goes in on a breakaway here and he scores just 16 seconds into the period. So it's 3-1 Eskimos and they were not done quite yet here as Derek Shaler gets one of his own, makes a nice cut at the net and scores as the Eskimos win by seven goals, 8-1 over Calumet. In the Lynn Auto Parts Showcase in the Sioux, Plymouth wins by three, five goals to two over Jeffers. And both Finlandia teams were in action as well. The women hockey team fall to Augsburg at home, four goals to two, while the men drop a 4-3 road decision to Bethel despite the two-goal effort from Ryan Davatilla in the third. And in some WCHA hockey, Michigan Tech drops a close game at number three, Ferris State, three to two. Alex Patan and David Johnstone score the Huskies two goals, while Lake State loses 3-1 at home over against Bemidji State. Alaska and Bowling Green tied at one in overtime, while the Irish blank Alabama Huntsville 5-0. 
We had two Marquette's annual splash and dash as teams from around the UP competed in both swimming and diving. And the boys 200 medley relay Marquette and Gladstone battling in lanes four and five. In the end, the Braves win in one minute and 47 seconds. To the girls 100 individual medley, Olivia Rulo from Hancock is your winner against Marquette's Lindsay Welch in lane four. She finished with one minute and six seconds. Welch in one minute, eight seconds. Later, it was a trio of red men competing in the boys 100 individual medley. As top qualifier Nathan Rotundo looks for another victory as he competes against his teammate Sam Williams in lane four. But in the end, Williams beats Rotundo by a split second here as they finish this relay in a minute. For more information on all the finishes and times, visit our website UpperMichiganSource.com. For scores and highlights, visit our website UpperMichiganSource.com. And Beth, a lot of NFL action tonight in the playoffs here as the Seahawks advance along with the Patriots. Two big wins for those teams. Lots of great action tomorrow as well. Yeah, you were saying that there's going to be a lot more games tomorrow. Yeah, so these two teams are in the NFC and AFC championship games, respectively. Tomorrow we have huge games as the uh, San Diego Chargers and Denver Broncos and Peyton Manning square off. And San Francisco and Carolina also play. So we'll see which teams will be facing the Patriots and the Seahawks in their championship games. I'm sure a lot of people at home, big sports fans, are excited about this. Yeah. Did you play any sports in school? Is, I, that, is that how you got into sports? Or yeah. did you just happen to, to like it? Well, you know, I grew up with my dad. We watched football a lot. So I'm a huge football girl. but. I did track and cross country when I was in school. Oh, okay, good. I was mm -hmm. a band geek. Were you? Band. <laughs> yes, I played the, I, at least I played the cool part. I was the drummer. Were you? That's uh, awesome. It makes me feel cooler. <laughs> One more thing I didn't know about that. <laughs> yes, and it, it's a learning process. Every day you get to watch us on the weekends, you get to learn a little bit more about me and Lily. Because that's fun, right? Dan, we'll get you in there too. He's standing over there watching us. <laughs> but coming up next, a crowd takes a chili dip in costumes. We'll be right back.